Hey everybody, it's Angie from Trips with Angie and today we are talking about Verifly. In particular, how to fill out Verifly for your Holland America cruise. So shout out to Jan in the Holland America Line Cruisers Facebook group for requesting this video. So the first thing you want to do is find Verifly in your app store. So either the Play Store if you're on a Google device or Android device or the App Store as part of Apple and download that onto your phone. Then you wanna set up your account. The instructions are pretty clear for that part, so just go through all of the steps. Um, you will need to enable access to your camera to take pictures of certain documents, so go ahead and do that um, to make sure that those private settings are correct. And then we get to the part where you set up your Holland America cruise. So on your home screen, once you have your account set up, you're going to see in the lower right hand bottom, add new. So you wanna click on add new. That will pop up another screen that will let you choose what type of trip you're adding. So you're gonna pick add cruise. Then it will take you to the next screen, which at this point in May of 2022, your options are Holland America or Viking. So you're gonna pick Holland America. You'll confirm that you want to add it and then it will add it and take you back to the home screen. So then you do need to click on it again. So click where it says Holland America and that will open up a set of permissions that you have to give to the app. After you kind of click through all those and accept those conditions, you will need to enter your booking number and your last name to the app. This will bring up your Holland America booking. On that booking will be the guests in that cabin or on that booking. So you want to add guest for both people. Then for the person that is not you or the holder of the account, you'll have to do a couple permissions saying that you are authorized to complete Verify on behalf of the other person. You can also save them as your companion so they know for future trips with Verify that you frequently travel with this person. That will take you to a screen that has your names and birth dates grayed out and it says added. At that point, you'll want to click complete. Now, this will take you to another screen with your names and birth dates again, and it'll have a thing called manage checklist. So this is how you're going to start adding the information that Holland America requires. So you want to click on yourself first and click manage checklist. The first item of business on the managed checklist is to upload your vaccination records. You're gonna click on that, and then this will take you through the process of uploading your vaccine. Some of you may have a digital vaccine certificate, especially if you're coming from European countries. For most US citizens, we are going to have those white vaccination cards. And in that, if that's the case, you're going to want to click manual review. So then you'll have your vaccine card in front of you and it will take you through a process where you enter all of the information about your individual vaccines. So you'll need to know the type of vaccine you had, the date of the first shot, the date of the second shot, and then the date of any boosters. So you'll click on vaccine type and it will bring up the list of vaccines that are acceptable by Holland America. You'll click the vaccine you had, then you'll enter the date information. After that, you'll reach the bottom where there'll be an opportunity to upload a copy of your vaccine card. You can do this in two ways. When you click browse, it will bring up an option to use your camera or to upload a file. So for most of us, the camera is going to be the easiest way. You just want to make sure you're taking a photo above that it's well lit um, so that you can easily read the information on your vaccine card. If the information is on both sides of your card, you'll just hit browse again and upload a second photo of the back of your card. Then you'll get the got it screen, meaning you uploaded your information. Verify does an actual manual review, meaning a human is going to look at your vaccine card and make sure it matches up with what you entered. This process can take up to eight to 10 hours, so don't fret if it doesn't get approved right away. You will get notified through the app and your email when Verify has completed the review of your vaccine card. Then you're gonna hit the little arrow in the upper left corner. That will take you back to your checklist. And the next thing on the list is your test results. So we're gonna go through the same exact 
process for your test results. They're going to ask you a series of questions that can be found on your test results. So when did you take the test? What type of test was it? What time was the sample taken? Who is the ordering doctor? So for a lot of the travel clinics, you'll know who the ordering doctor was because there'll be a signature at the bottom of your test result. You can also use the name of the lab. So you want to make sure you have that information on your test result. And again, you'll get to the bottom. You'll have the browse box where you can either upload a PDF. So with our tests, we got a copy of a PDF sent to my email. I downloaded that to my phone and then uploaded that to Verify. If you have printed results, you can also just take a photo the same way you did with your vaccination card. This also goes through a review process, so you want to just be patient, and when that gets done, you'll get the check marks you need. About 72 hours before, there'll be a health questionnaire that opens up. This can be done through the Holland America app, um, so they're, they're linked together in that way. Then you'll be able to go back to your trip, and on that screen, you see it says view pass or manage trip. Once you've completed all of this and the review for the vaccine, and test results is complete, you'll be able to view a pass. So this is something you're going to want a screenshot and bring with you to the port. Okay, hope that was helpful. Thanks, bye.